In August of 2004, the building we are in now, the Betty Engelstead Sioux Center, became the home of many UND sports as both men's and women's basketball programs get ready to face off against in-state rival NDSU. Players from both squads reflected on what makes their home court special. You know, playing in this building is fun. I mean, when the fans come out each and every night and they're loud when we're making our baskets or when we're just at the free throw line telling us to make them, or just getting the rebound on defense, I think just having them and hearing them uh, during games is we feed off their energy. It's, it's a good atmosphere. Every day you know you're going to come, it's going to be pretty crowded. A bunch of loyal fans, there's a lot of fans. I mean, I've been here five years now. There's a bunch of fans I've been seeing since my redshirt year still coming out to support us. and. It's always nice to see because you kind of build a relationship with a lot of the fans. You see them outside the court, they'll talk to you and things like that. So the fact that we have a bunch of loyal fans that have been coming here year in and year out, it's just an honor to play in front of them. The atmosphere is just better here than when we go on the road and play. Besides uh, Montana and Weber, I think we uh, would be like the third ranked in the Big Sky Conference with just um, home court advantage. Buck with the shot clock at four. North Dakota will have to hurry. It's an unbelievable experience and I mean you can't get it anywhere else. It's so nice having like the, these nice facilities like we have and when it gets full it gets loud and it's like great to play in front of our fans and they're so dedicated even in the dead of winter they'll come out and support us and that's asking a lot in North Dakota so it's great. UND fans have waited eight years for this night for the first time since 2004. North Dakota State comes to Grand Forks to play men's basketball against North Dakota. The rivalry resumes at Ralph Engelstead Arena. I'd say they take the rival seriously. Uh, when they come out, they we always want to beat the rival, and I know the fans here want to always beat the Bison, so they take the, the rival seriously. And that's a rare miss for him. And North Dakota wins the game 59 to 54. North Dakota a fresh 30. Here's Buck driving the lane, gets it to scoop and score. It was awesome. Um, and it was so awesome that all of our fans drove down. I know we have some UND fans in Fargo, so that made it easy for them to come to the game. But that just really shows how dedicated our fans are and how, how seriously they take the sport and how much they support it. And yeah, it was, it was such a blast. That was like one of the best games that we played. And yeah, it was a lot of fun having all of them there. North Dakota retains bragging rights as UND comes away with a 73-63 victory over North Dakota State. So I'd say playing in the Betty than the Ralph would just be, it feels more like a neutral site when you're in the Ralph because it's so, it's so big and then it doesn't feel as compact as the Betty will when, when we play them in two weeks. But I think just playing it here just feels more of a home court advantage. It might even feel like Duke, we could say, how the, uh, the crowd would be right on top of you. Uh, I think we're all excited about it because I mean, this is more our home floor. This is where we play. This is where we practice every day. When we go to the Ralph, I mean, we're not really used to that. That's a different atmosphere over there. So just having this place packed and just sold out as we imagine, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's just going to be very loud in here, probably one of the loudest I've heard it. And we're just really looking forward to it. Favorite memory? Um, I would probably say um, playing USD my freshman year. Um, playing with Mallory Youngblood. Um, I remember it was a play she was on the perimeter and she made just like a needle pass through the lane and I got an and one and it, I was a freshman so I was so excited. Um, I'd have to say last year when we played Drake. Here's Williams dribbling left side, picked up her dribble, Smart will try a three, top of the key, got it! My favorite moment, uh, I got two. Uh, when we beat Montana here uh, before we joined the Big Sky and then Pat Mitchell's senior year when he hit the buzzer beater on senior night. I think that was probably the two most favorable moments here. For his class and him to go out that way, it was just game winner on his senior night, last game on the floor. That's probably one of my most exciting memories here so far. Oh, rebound, Jamal Webb, ball loose on the floor, Mitchell shoots, and he scores! 